first we're going to just give kind of like the overall decomposition then we'll get into some of the nitty-gritty cool facts about it but given a matrix a you can say this is equal to u times sigma times v transpose in general the transpose can be a hermitian conjugate whatever. Let's not deal with complex numbers right now. We're just talking about real, so we'll keep it as the transpose. Um, what do these matrices on the right-hand side look like? What's the left-hand side look like? So A generally is a M by N matrix, and V transpose will be N by N, and sigma will be m by n and you can see dimensionally this works out you'll get back something that's m by n um, some little properties of these matrices u and v are what we call unitary unitary means that u transpose is equal to u inverse and v transpose is equal to v inverse this is a very cool property of the svd it will be used later to show some cool little proofs um, Sigma here is a diagonal matrix, and it's made up of, on the diagonal, is made up of these singular values. So that's where the word singular value comes in. Um, the singular values, let's kind of draw it. It'll look like sigma 1, sigma 2, dun, 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 for m by n, and m greater than, let's say a, m greater than or equal to n, the most singular values we can achieve is n. Um, M rows, the rest of the things down here will be zero. Zero here, zero here. Now, the rules about these singular values is by convention, sigma one is greater than or equal to sigma two, greater than or equal to dot dot dot. I'm going to say sigma r here, greater than or equal to dot dot dot, sigma n greater than or equal to zero. So the lowest value a singular value can be is zero. What is the sigma r? Sigma r represents the last value that is greater than zero, actually, that's non-zero. The number of non-zero elements in the SVD is the rank. Let's write this down. Rank of the matrix A is the number of non-zero singular values. So that could go, R can go all the way to N, or R can be one or two, whatever, but up to that sigma R, that last one that's non-zero, that's the rank of your matrix. That's super cool already. The SVD will give you the rank just from the singular values. All right, that's already pretty awesome. 